you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you work hard, good things happen for you, you know, so. Yeah, just like what ultimately led you to come to UNC? Well, it was a great opportunity, you know, to have an opportunity uh, transitioning from Tennessee Martin to work with Coach Chiswick, uh, first and foremost. Coach Fedora, I tracked his progression when he was at Southern Miss because I was GA in that old Miss at that time. And for me, it's great working with great people you know, who've been successful. I seen what Coach Fedora did at Southern Miss and then seeing how he's really studied this program out, it's hard not to come to it, you know. How familiar were you with the program, especially, you know, that success that's been there on the defense um, line? The for, me, for me, the familiarity came with um, really, you know, hey, defensive linemen come to this school. That's really what I knew about. Ebenezer, Marcus, all the way up to Quinn Copels. I'm blessed to have Ryan Sims helping me because you got a first round guy who's been through it. He graduated from here, played 10 years in the league. You know, it's invaluable having him. So, you know, that was probably the extent of my knowledge. And once I got here, learning a little bit more, but I knew it was, it was going to be very easy to get defensive linemen here though. Yeah, and what steps need to be taken like in order to reach that level again? As far as, well, you know, focusing on the progress through the process. You know, it, it sounds kind of crazy, but you know, guys have to slow down and focus on what they're doing at this moment, take care of that, Go to there, take care of that, and continue the progress. You know, that's one of the biggest things because we have really good players here, and we have guys that want to be good. So it makes it really easy as a coach when you're trying to instruct them and they're trying to get what you want fixed. You got Coach Brewer that recruited him. That's why he's so good. <laughs> Put me on the offensive side. But uh, I think it's been more intense. Uh, like I said, it's been more focused on details. And so they want to make sure we know what we're doing and why we're doing it instead of just going out there and playing. They're really making us students into the, in the game. So I feel like we've learned a lot about football this year more than just about playing. Learning kind of the scheme too. I mean, it's, it's new, it's a transition. How's the scheme adjustment been? Uh, the scheme's been different. Everybody, you don't have to run all over the field. You, you, you're kind of stationary and you get lined up faster and it allows us to play faster. So <laughs> I think all oh, that's good. And I think it's going to help us on uh, third and for the whole season because it's going to allow our talent to show and everybody's going to be a well-oiled machine. And I think we're going to do big things this year. In addition to this game, what do you think has been the biggest change from last year in the secondary? You guys didn't have the season that you would like to. What do you think is going to make that different this year? Uh, I just think we, we're going to know what we're doing. Um, not saying that we didn't last year, but I don't think it's going to be nearly as uh, many busts as we had in the secondary last year. Um, I think everybody's more keyed in, and we want to show people. I think it's been a drought in North Carolina secondary, which has been a good secondary in the, in the past years, and I think we got to bring that back. We can't just say we're rude boys or we're this and that. We just got to come out there and do it, and then let everything happen from there. Um, it's presented some challenges uh, for me personally. Um, I still think that I'm, you know, I'm honestly, I'm just blessed to be out here, blessed to come out every day and learn something new. Um, but it's a process. <laughs> is there a discernible difference, you know, start at camp with all the installs and then a couple weeks later, does it seem much more fluid? Um, we're at this point, honestly, we're still installing stuff. We just installed about four uh, new concepts today. Um, but, you know, from the beginning of camp where everything was new uh, to now, everything's a lot more coherent and everybody has a uh, general idea of what, they, what they're supposed to do. Um, now, at this point in camp, you know, everything is more fluid and we're uh, focusing more on the details. So, you know, spilling, pulling guards or, you know, motions and, and different things like that. So now we're more detail oriented than before at the beginning of the camp, we were trying to, they were teaching the concepts. And of course, you'll, guy, you guys will continue to learn and grow throughout the season. What's been the most challenging part of learning this defense? Um, for me, the detail stuff. Uh, I get the, the basic concepts, um, but you know, the different run fits, um, different looks uh, when you have a motion or when, you're, when you have pulling guards and different things like that um, require me to think a little bit more. When I think a little bit more, I play a little bit slower. So that's something that's been challenging for me, but that's something that I'm still working on.